Now let's look at the revision tasks. Numeral 1 full stop. Correcting dragon when it makes a mistake full stop. New line. Numeral 2 full stop. Adding words to your vocabulary. Full stop. New line. Numeral 3 full stop. Dealing with acronyms and other difficult words full stop. New line. Numeral 4 full stop. Running the accuracy tuning program full stop. New line. Numeral 5 full stop. Backing up and exporting your user to somewhere safe full stop. New paragraph. And there's an optional step full stop. It depends on if you're achieving the accuracy you want to immediately full stop. This involves you reading a few more paragraphs of the program to lift the accuracy. Full stop. New line. Numeral 6 full stop. Perform additional voice training full stop. All right, let's look at the first one. Select all. Delete that. Go to top. All caps on. Correcting dragon. All caps off. New paragraph. You must correct dragon when it makes a mistake full stop. That's how it learns about how you speak full stop. If you don't make corrections comma, the program will never improve its knowledge of your voice and the accuracy will never improve full stop. The corrections also add words directly to your vocabulary full stop. So they help build a... Scratch that. So they help build a special vocabulary for your unique requirements full stop. After you've dictated comma, you need to review the last two or three sentences to make sure that it hasn't made any mistakes full stop. I'll now check this for mistakes and I'll make the corrections. Okay, so here's a word, there's no actual errors there. So to make a correction, we'll use my name because it's not in the vocabulary. Select paragraph, delete that. My name is Russell Busell because it doesn't actually know my name. My name is in its vocabulary, so it put up a similar sounding name. Instead of Busell, it said Buse. So we'll make the correction. Now to make a correction, you simply say correct and then the word. In this case, Buse. Though it's often better to correct a phrase because that's uh, more accurate usually. Correct Russell Buse. Russell. Now it won't appear here because it simply isn't in the vocabulary. So if we don't make the correction at this point, the program will never improve. So this is how we make the correction. Now we can spell it in, we can type it in. We've got to get it in here. I can just backspace and, and put my name in and hit enter. Or I can say choose one. We've just got to get the correct information here. But for the purposes of uh, this demonstration, I'll actually spell it in to show you how to do it hands free. Cat B E W S E L L. Choose one. Full stop, new paragraph. So that's how you make basic corrections with Dragon, full stop correct and then the phrase and then it will bring up that correction window now it will only do it in this way if you've already received training from us where we have uh, configured your options within dragon to go straight to the corrections if you haven't received training from us that correction interface will be slightly different and it will try to make a quick correction however we find this is the most efficient method so to go over it again you simply say correct and then the words that are wrong if it's a long word you can just say Correct dragon. Two. So in that instance, there were two, uh, two instances of the word dragon on the document. So it asked me which one, and I just said two or choose two. Cancel. Click cancel. New paragraph. 